Lorry's driver reportedly arrested by DSS for allegedly tricking president. Staff Sergeant Seidu Afaka, driver to President Mohamed Buhari, has reportedly been detained by the Department of State Services DSS for allegedly tricking the president to sign a fraudulent document to make billions of naira. According to Sahara reporters, a source in the presidency revealed how the driver capitalized on Buari Dementia to perpetrate the fraud. Though the details of the deal are still sketchy, Sahara reporters learned that the whole affair was hushed up by the presidency, which did not want another scandal in the press. The fraud was perpetrated some weeks ago but it was kind of hushed up so that it would not leak to the press. The source said Sahara reporters further gathered that it is generally known in the president's circle and among his cabinet members that Buari has been showing some symptoms such as forgetfulness, limited social skills and impaired thinking ability. Therefore, he does not go through the rigors of reading reports to properly vet in documents as required of his office. It was learned that the president's former aide de camp, who recently left, reported the deal to DSS as he was not carried along in the deal. The driver made the president to sign a fraudulent document. The man is the main driver of the president. He got the president to sign a document from which he made millions of naira, capitalizing on Paris dementia. He was subsequently arrested by the DSS and detained for several days. The ADC to the president, who recently left, reported the deal to DSS after finding out that he was sidestepped in the deal. The source added, ironically, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria in 2017 promised to reward Afaka, who had reportedly returned some lost items during the 2016 Hajj in Saudi Arabia, said Afaka found and returned to the commission a bag containing $400 and 149 Saudi Rias and a cell phone belonging to Adam Uma, a Ninja State pilgrim. However, this is not the first time a scandal such as this will be experienced in Asovila. A similar scandal was experienced in Asovila in 2018 when the First Lady Aisha ensured the arrest of her aide, the camp, whom she accused of defrauding her. She had alleged that Sani Baba Ina, a chief superintendent of police, received huge donation to the tune of 2.5 billion from politicians and business people on her behalf and then kept the cash to himself. Following her allegation, the then Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, ordered the arrest of Baba Ina and compelled him to return the money. Eventually, the police could not establish that Baba Ina committed the crime and an angry Aisha asked the DSS to take over the case, believing the police authority were trying to protect one of their own. Thank you for listening to this news. <sighs> my viewers you see this is how they share our money this is how they share our money in Asoroko this is how they distribute our money in Asoroko you can see you can see that because 
the other person was unable to get anything from this from the defrauded uh, 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 money that is why he decided to expose the driver that is it my viewers for how long are we going to continue to experience something of this kind for how long for how long are we going to continue experiencing the unnecessary Abby? Hmm. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this is happening. It's one of those things. To be precise, it's one of those things. You see, the President Mama Buhari personally knows that fraud is going on in his office. But he has chosen to, to be quiet. Look at, see who want to defraud him, his personal driver. Buhari is weak. He's weak, and that is why Nigerian is weak. And since the president is weak, we should not expect Nigeria to be strong, because the country will be weak too. Definitely the country will be weak. No two ways about it. So what are we saying? No wonder it was said that we should say no to old cargoes in office by Arawa, Arawa Group, which is true. See how we are being affected now, being defrauded of millions of naira, billions of naira, whereas we are crying that there is no money in the ports. We will go around, travel out of the country to be borrowing whereas our money that is our money has just been been transferred to another pause Abby mm -hmm. that is it I just wonder 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 how worry we just stoop so low and allow himself to be fooled yeah, that's the humble truth. They are fooling him in Asorok. Look at Malami. Malami is now the one in control of the president, telling him what to do. It means that it's not worried that it's only the government. They are just pushing him around. Who knows? How are we sure what Mazen Amdikano said is not true? How are we sure? God will help us. God will help us. Well, my viewers, I would like to hear from you at least. Let me know what you equally have in mind, just like I have in mind. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.